Hey, folks, besides my title not to use Titan Solar, I thought it'd be good if I give some examples of what I've gone through the last six months. And you can make your own judgments of what you want to do moving forward. So the salesman comes to my house about six months ago. Yes, November 23rd. Actually, before that. I tell him, look, I've been looking at solar for the last four or five years. I want to pay cash. I don't want to finance. Things have been tricky. You know, things get tricky with financing. He goes, no, 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 no. I can get you in financing, no money down, and your payments will be less than your average payment right now. I said, all right, keep talking. So we agree. And December, I don't hear anything. What's going on, guys? So finally, January, they're coming out. Now, I told the salesman, the only way I'll get solar is if you put it on the back of the house. You know where this one's going, right? So... They get out late January, and thankfully, I work remote because I work right here, and I hear some footsteps up here. I come outside. I say, whoa, 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 guys, you're going to put the panels at the southwest part of my house, aren't you? No, we've got the plans right here. I didn't sign any plans, guys. I didn't see these plans. I said, call the salesperson. He goes, well, we don't talk to him. You don't talk to the salesperson? No, I talk to my supervisor. All right. So I call my salesman. He goes, yeah. yeah. I, I sent it, Rob. I told him. I said, all right, well, let's get this thing fixed. So they fixed it. A couple days later, they came out. Hey, it looks all nice and pretty. I said, okay. Three weeks go by. I don't hear anything. I called Duke Energy and asked them, are you going to come out and change the meter? They said, no, we don't have any record of coming out there to change the meter. and We don't have a, an inspection report. Oh, all right. Let me call Titan. So after being on hold for 30 minutes, I get a hold of them and they said, well, we haven't ordered the inspection yet. Really? And why is that? Well, we didn't get to change the plans yet. Change of plans. And what are the change of plans? Well, we originally had it for the front of your house, and we changed the plans to move it to the back of the house. I said, I understand that, but that was three weeks ago. Does it take three weeks to get a change of plans from that office? Well, we don't talk to that office. They just have to send them over. Okay. We don't talk to that office. Okay. So I called my sales rep. I said, Sales rep, Duke's not out here, and there's a reason for that. He goes, ah, darn Duke. He starts throwing Duke under the bus. I said, it's not Duke Energy. It's you. I told him everything going on. He said, well, Rob, I, I really don't have much communication with the office because I told him, you you got to make this thing happen. And after telling me he doesn't have communications, what do you mean you don't have communication in your office? I never heard of that. He goes, well, I'm a contractor. I said, you're also not a good company. I said, you've got to make this thing work. So anyway, a couple of weeks go by. I have an inspector come out. He just does the building. And then a couple of weeks after that, the electrical inspector comes out. Guess what? Didn't go well. They didn't install a grounding wire. Hmm. An electric company, solar doesn't know to install a grounding wire. So they got out here this week. And oh, by the way, it's April 13th. Remember I signed November? Okay. So I called the office and they said, yes, the inspector is going to be out at the 28th of the month. And then once he gives the okay, he'll send it to us. And then we upload it to Duke Energy. And then Duke Energy will put it on there. Uh, scheduled to come out and change the meter. So you can see we're probably still a month or two at least. Anyway, and oh, by the way, tomorrow the finance company is going to take their first payment. So I have to deal with that with Titan. They claim they already sent me a reimbursement check 
I'll believe it when I see it. But here's the kicker that got me. They sold me on 1.99% interest. Woohoo! They said, you're going to be at 139 a month. Now, when you get that 26% refund from the government, you got to make sure you take that check and, and give it to the finance company. Otherwise, your finance rate is going to be based on the 43,930, not the 32 grand, whatever it is, the 11,000 off of this. Well, I did my taxes and I don't have a check. I called the sales rep. I said, talk to your accountant. I said, I do my taxes myself through TurboTax. Well, I find out there's no refund coming. I knew the 26% tax credit against your taxes. That's not what he told me. Again, I'll take responsibility. I signed on a dotted line. Maybe I should have been asking more questions, but that's what he told me. So now, unless I come up with 11,000 and change to buy down my rate, I'm stuck with $190 a month, plus Duke Energy rates their connection fee, $30 a month from $10 a month. So in 18 months, when this new rate comes into play, it's going to be more than what I'm paying for electric now. So again, if you guys have questions, concerns, hit me up anytime. Uh, I'm doing this and I still, I don't even have solar installed. So I don't even know what that's going to be like. Uh, so we'll see. But like I told the sales rep, I understand why Titan has poor ratings. Hit me up with any questions. I'll be happy to answer. All right, guys, take it easy.